up there, Mike. It's yeah. going to be hot and humid down here as it always is every 4th of July. One thing that might help you out is a passing shower or a storm, and I do think we're going to have some storms around for this afternoon. In fact, we already have a few out there this morning, but I want to start with that's what's left of our super moon. It is now at about 97% lit so it's still pretty bright and it looks full. You'll be able to check it out for the next couple of hours or so as it gets closer to the horizon. Of course, if the clouds don't obscure it, uh, it'll start to look redder and it'll get a little bit bigger uh, to the eye. So pretty cool to check that out. Just look to the west. You'll see it. Temperatures this morning ranging from 78 in New Orleans to 81 at the lakefront, 81 in Kenner. We're at 78 in the middle there because we had a few showers move through, bringing some rain cold air elsewhere. We're pretty uniform, nothing too unusual. Here's what this afternoon looks like. Low 90s for most people, and there is a 50% chance of a storm or two. So I do think we're going to have some storms around. And as you make those 4th of July plans, maybe at the pool, maybe out of the barbecue at the pool, eating hot dogs, about a 50% chance of scattered storms during the heart of the afternoon. The good news is if you're going to be out later, maybe heading out to Crescent Park or to the riverfront here or any of the other fireworks shows going on. I think we're going to be drier by the time we get to sunset, which is at 8.05 and then by 9 and 10 o'clock, we'll go with a 10% chance of rain. Now it's possible there's one or two showers lingering, but it's not going to be a huge widespread issue once we get to our fireworks. Late tonight, tomorrow morning, more showers firing back up. So this is the pattern we're going to get into the rest of this week. Radar showing we're already tracking some of those showers. These are going to be mainly on coastal spots. And while we did see a few showers in the city and up on the North Shore earlier, those have dissipated. So just some lingering moisture left on the roads and cars. Here's a look at your showers and a few thunderstorms down in the coastal areas, lower Lafouche, lower Terrebonne and into lower Plaquemines. We've had some of those showers. They have not been moving all that much, but as we get into the hotter part of the day, notice scattered showers popping up all across the map. That's what a 50% chance of rain looks like. Uh, half of the area is getting it. Others are not so 50 50 shot. You may miss the rain today and you may be on the outskirts of a shower and you just get the rain cold air. Wouldn't that be nice tonight? Maybe a few showers after midnight into early tomorrow morning and then tomorrow we do it all over again. Scattered storms across the area. We got a lot of tropical moisture moving on in, so there's plenty of moisture for these things to work with. And if you get under one of these, they could be a downpour. They could dump a quick couple of inches of rain and while they have slight movement to them, they're not moving terribly fast. So we'll watch for some localized flooding and I don't think that's going to be a main issue or a big issue for everyone, but it's something to watch down here. 60% chance of rain today and tomorrow and or tomorrow and Thursday and then we'll start to see the trend of drier weather by next week. I still think we're going to have a few storms around this weekend, but maybe not as wet as we will be the next couple of days. Your marine forecast you can see for the next three days. The main story will be the chance for showers and storms in the morning and in the afternoon. If you're not getting the rain, though, there shouldn't be too much of a chop. The lake looks to be relatively smooth for the next couple of days. If you're heading out to watch fireworks shows this evening on any of our waters, uh, it should be OK for that as well. Not any big chop issues. There's your seven day forecast. It is hot, and humid, but as we know, it could be a lot worse like last week. So this is more manageable. This is more seasonal. But notice next week, Mike, those temperatures are back in the mid to upper 90s. Ooh, back to sweating. The